Hi everyone, it's Debbie from the Osley Public Library Children's Room. Welcome back to I Heart Art Junior. This week we're going to make tie-dyed paper towels. This is a really easy and really fun art project, but it is a little messy. So if you can work outside, you might want to do that instead of working inside. Here's what you'll need. You need paper towels, liquid watercolors, and rubber bands. You really should use heavier two-ply paper towels. The one-ply will probably not hold up to the liquid watercolors. You also need to use liquid watercolors and not the cake kind. They won't be wet enough. You can also use food dye in water instead of liquid watercolors. That will work as well. Step one, scrunch up the paper towel and tie with a rubber band. You can use more than one. The more rubber bands you use, the more of a pattern you will get. Step two, dip one end of your rubber banded paper towel into your liquid watercolor or food dye. A wide mouth bowl is much easier for young children to navigate in and out of than a narrow one or a cup. Step three, dip the other end of, a paper, of the paper towel into another color. Try using more colors and see what effects you can get. Step four, remove the rubber bands and hang the paper towels to dry. Once they're dry, you can see how beautiful they are. Enjoy your art. You can even cut them up into make patterns. See how creative you can get. I hope you've enjoyed this art, week's art project. It is the last one for the summer. Please send us pictures if you like. We'd love to see what you've made. You can post them on the library's Facebook page or email them to us at oplkids at wlsmail.org. Please keep checking our website for information about fall programming and library activities. There is also a survey right now on our website asking about fall programming, so please go to the program page of the children's page and please fill it out. Let us know what you would like to see us do. Enjoy the rest of your summer and stay safe.